Dumb character gets himself captured or killed cliche. Don't you think he's had enough? He's had enough when he can't talk. Talking? Madre de Dios. He hasn't been able to speak for an hour. He could be faking it. See, I bet he's faking it. Oh yeah, he's not faking it. He's not moving. He's not speaking. Don't care to over torture suspect and kills him cliche. Batman screams, but his partner doesn't hear a sound and stays put. The biggest cliche in the Splinter Cell game. A simple AI staring at nothing. Evening star to Maria Narcisa. Come in. Evening star to Maria Narcisa. Come in. Evening star to Maria Narcisa. Come in. That is all that bitch was saying. It was quite annoying. The body of kidnapped American computer engineer Bruce Morgenholt was discovered in a village in Peru this morning. Implicated in the kidnapping and failed ransom attempt is Hugo Lacerda, alleged leader of the People's Voice, a newly formed guerrilla organization. Here we see the USS Clarence E. Walsh en route to the Yellow Sea for her first assignment amid rising tensions in the region. Dubbed the flagship of a 21st century fleet by Defense Secretary Mason, who reaffirmed America's commitment to our Japanese allies. Which is the key to this pointless ass plot. Of Silistinia's last dry dock report for the Maria Narcissa. They have a newly installed central alarm system. Don't tell me. Three alarms and the mission is over? Of course not. This is no video game, Fisher. Oh, the irony. Who's down there? Yeah. I can smell it. Some kind of gas leak. Could be enough to be a serious explosive hazard. We can't have any firing in the engine room. Wonderful. And don't expect the enemy to be smart enough to realize that. They might still open fire on you if they see you. Due to the fact that this is a video game, the enemy will open fire. But in real life, no way in hell people will open fire smelling gas in the air. This is just another way of demonstrating how stupid AIs are in this game or any other game from this timeline. Please say there is nothing here. Okay, there's nothing here. I shoot the light bulb, but AI says it's broken out of nowhere. See why I say AIs are stupid in this game? Hey, who did that? I'd break on their own, you know? Okay, I'm guessing Sam took some lessons from Neji, right? Stay calm. We don't want to make any sparks. Who, who, who are you? I'm the fire inspector, and I'm worried that you or one of your stupid friends might try and squeeze a shot off of you. Why? Can't you smell the gas? But... But I didn't think it was dangerous! Imagine you needed to stow your ammo to prevent any accidents. Where would you put it? Uh, uh, the men bunk up! It was at this moment. I knew I fucked up. You seen lights? No. What do they do? When they detect movement, the light turns on. So you're telling me that at this point, June 2007, High-level security guards were amazed at motion-sensing security cameras. 
It was, actually. I spent most of the rest of that year sleeping in a ditch on the road between Baghdad and Kuwait. Oh, well, if it's any consolation, I had a bad year that year, too. What? You weren't working for the government during the Gulf War? No. I was in 10th grade. Oh. Sam, not everyone is as old as you. It looks like a laser grid just came online. Lasers? Lasers are so... 90s? I was gonna say 70s. Can you please stop making me feel old? Got bad news for you, Sam. You are old. Yet, there aren't much young people who can do the same thing Sam does. Playing video games. He's got the new Prince of Persia. Yeah, I heard it's awesome. Gonna be game of the year, man. Prince of Persia came out in 2003. Chaos Theory came out in 2005, based on the year 2007. Ubisoft, were you hired while making this game? Also, that game was garbage. Game of the year, my ass. What was that? Who's that? Yeah! <laughs> That was easy. No, no, that's bullshit. The elevator was going up way too fast to not do any sort of damage to Sam. He's looking for me, the light suddenly turns off, but he thinks it's broken. Nothing here but ghosts and shadows. Damn it! Man no, shut up. You know damn well you did that too. You must be Dvorak. Yeah, um, uh, where? Dvorak, huh? That fucking voice was so annoying, oh my god, reminded me of Tales of the Crypt. That wasn't so pleasant. Halfway into the game and the story finally starts to get exciting. I can't stress it enough, this game was so fucking boring. Base. Captain, all of our command systems crashed. Nothing's responding. Seaman Palmyra, can you tell us what's happening there? Tight, Sam. I'll call you back. It's the Koreans, Mr. President. I recommend that we declare war immediately. Man in power blames another without any evidence, cliche. Be right now. Maybe it was an accident. Maybe uh, an exercise. A test launch gone wrong. That's impossible. The Koreans can't even detect the launch. Never mind track it on radar and sink it with a 30-year-old Chinese anti-ship missile. So if the Korean are incapable of so many things, why are you blaming Korea? The Walsh's systems are- Unhackable? The Walsh's EW suite is built on kernels first identified by two of the world's leading computational theorists. One of them was found dead in Peru last week. I'm about to pick up the other one. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm not sure what we've just witnessed here, but I'm afraid something terrible My God. Amazing what they show on TV these days, huh, Sam? World's gone crazy. I guess you're in the right business then, Doug. What are you doing here? I'm looking for a guy named Mylon Nedich. Heard he works for you. Lots of people work for me. Haven't you heard? First security company to make the Fortune 500. If you're looking for a job. I'm not. Is that so? You keep doing what you're doing, you'll just end up another unknown soldier. He's already an unknown soldier. The government will never even say Sam's name to the public, so your statement is invalid. I really don't have the patience for this shit. Skip. Here, and we cross the line to the south. Here. That puts us in... I know where we are! I was looking at the map while you were driving. Well, you were not looking very closely, were you? Look! Fine! You think you know where we are? You navigate! I'm going to take a leap. Yeah, don't get lost. Shove it. Warrior, 
So taking a leak means staring at nothing. All right. Excuse me while I go take a leak. Get out. No. We All could right. have done that. With I'm going to initiate the test. <laughs> Wait. What was that? I seen Okay, so we got a super bitch over here. Just a reminder, Sam. You'll have some civilians in the bathhouse. Do not, I repeat, do not kill any of them. I'll be careful. Be more than careful. Be gone. Did he really just say that? Uh, okay, I'm down, okay? Shetland knows where you are all the time, but actually thinks Sam will stand by his side. What made him think Sam will betray his country, including his family? Shetland is a creepy bitch, literally. On every bomb, Shetland makes a creepy ass slow motion movement and tries to convince Sam. Don't get me wrong, Shetland is speaking the truth. Sam is being used as a puppet, but still very creepy. And luck is safe. No, but it does have to end. On that we agree. We've been fighting their dirty little wars our entire lives, and where do we end up? Staring at each other down the barrels of our guns. Nothing has changed, Bishop. And it won't change by degrees. We have to tear it down and start over. It's the only way. Your own little chaos theory. Throw the world into war and hope that what comes out the other side is better. It will be better. Because this war will change things, Sam. Every other war has been about keeping things the same, but the status quo doesn't work anymore. America's sick, Sam. She's dying. The politicians, the bureaucrats, the whispered backroom deals. It's all life support for a sick old lady who was dead a long time ago. The only backroom deals that I've seen lately were made by you. You're a murderer and a war criminal. Those are the only names the state has for the revolutionary, Sam. You've only become a hero after the war is over. You know the truth. The world is built from the bottom up, not the other way around. Honor, courage, fidelity. We don't inherit these things from the world, Sam. We build the world from them. I know you. You believe in these things more than any government. And I know that because of it, you wouldn't shoot an old friend. Well, you thought wrong, bitch. This is actually a pretty sick ass feature, getting yourself out of handcuffs. Unfortunately, this is the only time Sam gets to do this. Is someone moving around on there? Who? I don't know who. That's why I'm worried. I hate these fucking bombs. Fools! They're sending another assault team! Cut the power to the elevators! Nope. That's only because the plot demands it. Get the fuck out of here. Can someone explain how Sam actually survived that water blast? A hundred feet below sea level and Sam swims up with someone unconscious. Some of my friends complains that Sam's day is completely unrealistic. But I don't hear nothing about this bullshit. Admiral Otomo, former head of the Japanese Information Self-Defense Force, made a surprise confession today on the witness stand at the Hague War Crimes Trial. Otomo openly admitted conspiring to instigate war between the Koreas and the United States, claiming that the... In other news, China's ambassador to the United States, Long Dan, received the Nobel Peace Prize today for his efforts in defusing the Korean conflict. President Bowers today addressed the nation following the crisis that brought us to the brink of war. Finally, I want to take a moment to thank those unsung heroes in the intelligence community who may very well have saved our nation and the world from certain disasters. Thank you, Mr. President. The boss seems happy. How about that raise? 
They're cutting us back. You'll have to settle for a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. After this boring ass game, that's the ending. Oh my god, Blacklist may not have better gameplay, but for damn sure had a better ending.